right and see i am like a little dress and um looking cute all the way yet i do have shorts on me just so you know because i don't really trust people just a long story on it i'm gonna eat some breakfast and then after we eat breakfast we're gonna go brush our teeth because i have a doctor's appointment today for my wisdom teeth <laughs> Put on my Apple Watch. Do it on Apple Watch on. It's Tuesday, June 27th. Um, I put it on my computer. Just go for it. Okay. I'm getting my shoulder caps. You get this caps cut off. You're gonna breathe for a minute. a minute. I actually found the video from last year and got it off, and you were so excited to wiggle these fingers. Look at the dude's fingers. He's like, look at this. I'm ready to go. Transition to put it on my sweatshirt. <clears throat> ready to pal this? Yeah. Um, so I want to give you guys a little update on everything. Check my mouth and do an x-ray. They didn't do that because the dentist that I went to already did that stuff. And they just virtual it through email. Uh, gave it to them. I'm scheduled for my, my surgery for my wisdom teeth. Wisdom teeth surgery is going to be um, vlogged. It's going to be July 11th. Stay tuned for that video, subscribe, and turn those post notifications on, and like the video. Um, so I am eating some macaroni and cheese. This is stuff that you usually put in the microwave. I always put it in for two minutes, so yeah. The tree is at 8 o'clock or something. I don't remember. I have, um, over there, there is it popped up. It has noodles in it. I'm waiting for that to cool take out the water and put in the beef flavored and eat that okay we're watching this um guy his name is quinn part no but he's the best storyteller on tiktok i've been watching a lot of these videos i might as well just follow him because so let's watch some videos of his let's watch a video of alex so alex called me last night with a little story he calls, I pick up the phone, I'm like, hey, is everything okay? Because it's 2 o'clock in the goddamn morning. He was like, yeah, yeah, I just want to tell you a story about how I put this gold digger in a fucking place. <laughs> <laughs> really, Alex? It is two goddamn hours into Father's Day, and you're about to emotionally wreck me. <laughs> so Alex, his auntie, and his grandma all go out to dinner and everything. They go to the restaurant, sit down, order their food, start enjoying their food. It is a normal thing. Until Alex overhears, what do you mean we're going Dutch? What kind of bitch man are you that you can't pay for our meal for the first date? Alex gets up from his table, walks over to the lady and says, I'm sorry, what kind of gold digger bitch woman are you that you just expect the man to pay for your time? Seriously. Now, Alex's auntie and his grandma don't really speak English, so they have no idea what's going on. <laughs> but this guy who took this woman on the date, he understood. I guess this guy sat back and said, oh, shit. <laughs> this lady replies, um, excuse me, who the fuck are you? And according to Alex, he stands up straight and he says, my name is Alex and I take down gold diggers. Good job, Alex. And the lady replies, I'm not a gold digger. I'm just a lady who expects a man to provide for her. Alex replies, if you expect anyone to pay your way through life, the only thing that you can expect a man to provide you is an eviction notice. <laughs> wow. <laughs> 
And the lady replies, uh, excuse you, you don't know me, okay? You don't know my life. And Alex says, fair enough, reaches into his back pocket and grabs his wallet. Looks at the man that this lady is with and says, sir, I'm going to pay for your meal and I would like you to come sit with us. The man looks at the lady and says, bye, and joins Alex's grandma and his auntie for dinner. <laughs> but here's the best part. The guy picked up the entire tab for Alex's grandma and his auntie. <laughs> So it's very obvious that this guy had money to pay for the entire date, but he instead said, no, I want to test the quality of this relationship, and I'm not going to waste my money on somebody that I have no future with. And according to Alex, this lady was there the entire time Alex's grandma and his auntie were. As Alex was walking out the door, he told the lady, get fucked, Karen, and the guy was following right behind Alex. How proud of Alex are you right now? I love my son. <laughs> Best Father's Day gift ever. <laughs> Happy Father's Day to all you dads out there. That is the funniest <laughs> story ever. So I'm gonna been I've been like scrolling for hours watching these kinds of stories and uh I don't remember what I was um watching but I know they're hecka funny. And sorry about their language, um, his language, he's a TikToker, and, um, yeah, so get used, I'm gonna, so this is gonna be funny. So, Alex, just court, you are causing court, 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 what? The Comic Con, Karen tries to sue me over my Get Fucked Karen merch store. Oh, I was out to eat with my family. Karen stops by and says, Hi, Quinn. Hey, how are you? I'm not doing so good. I'm so sorry to hear that. So I've seen you on TikTok, and I noticed that you have this little Get Fucked Karen clothing line. Yep, TikTok has been a blessing on me and my family. Do you happen to remember what my name is? It's Karen. Right, and you're using my name in a derogatory, disgusting way for a clothing line. I'm so sorry you feel that way, but this has nothing to do with you individually. It's just a name that retail and customer service workers give a less than desirable customer. You're missing the point. You are making money off of my name. Again, it has nothing to do with you as a person. I barely know you. We met a couple of times in past. This is all really pretty wonderful. I think I wouldn't name a clothing line after you. Well, we will just see what my attorneys have to say. What? All right. Some time passes and I'm sitting at home and I get a knock on my door. I answer the door and it's a gentleman in a suit and he's holding a manila envelope. He looks at me and he says, are you Quinn Pratt? Yes, how can I help you? He hands me the envelope and says, you just got served and walks away. The fuck? Did I just lose a dance battle? Because that's bullshit. I don't even dance. Why don't you dance, Quinn? Anyway, I emailed the paperwork that I was served over to my attorneys. They did some digging and they found out that this lady was the owner of multiple Facebook groups hating on me. And one of these groups was her trying to find as many people named Karen as she possibly could so they could join the lawsuit against me. <laughs> my attorneys are very good. And because of some of the posts that she's been posting, they found cause to file a countersuit. I got a phone call within two days from Karen apologizing and letting me know she's dropping the lawsuit. <laughs> Get fucked, Karen. Merch link in bio. Isn't that a good story or what? Hey guys, we're going to pack an house. Why this thing was thrown at me? 
Um, so we have our Alabama backpack. You may be wondering, why am I packing? Well, tomorrow's video, I have to pack for tomorrow. I'm going to a Christian kind of festival thing. There's going to be a lot of music, dancing and stuff, coming in, watching fireworks and so we have to be ready for that. We're going to be there until like 10 or 11 at night. I don't really know how cold it nor hot it will be tomorrow. Let's check on what it will be tomorrow. So tomorrow will be up to 83 degrees and then Thursday 89. Got this shirt. This is a friend shirt. I actually won this shirt. Um, won a game called like you keep it or you give it away um me and my friend she has the same birthday as me uh she actually gave this to me and i traded her for uh like a sour hot talk a hot dog or something i don't remember miss amazing on it because i wasn't miss amazing part of them all is the yin yang of yin yangs we have these leopard kind of pants and then another one we have these uh little flower this is some um, shorts it has one pocket tank top but is colorful and some socks stuff it all in this backpack and for the morning i'll just pack in my comforter my charger my headphones anything else that i can pick up my computer zip it up to go and then this video here thank you guys so much for watching and if you haven't already like subscribe and turn on the notifications on this video and i'll see you guys in the next video peace bye